Hi, my name's Andy Sykes. I'm an illustrator and animator, and I teach animation at universities here in the UK. Why not check out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find animation and illustration by me, as well as more lessons in Flash and After Effects. Cheers. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on how to create ocean waves using a combination of After Effects and Flash. Hopefully you will have watched my how to use the wave warp effect tutorial that precedes this one. If you haven't, please do check that out, otherwise this is not going to make any sense. So let's just quickly take a look at the example animation I've created. You can see we've got some really nice ocean waves here that are flowing across the screen. They're very similar to the ones you'd see in Dragon Ball Z and kind of a lot of Japanese animation, really kind of nice iconified waves. And we've got three different parallax layers of those waves moving from left to right. So the way I created that was using the wave warp effect in After Effects. So let's jump into my example project here. So what we've got is three different layers creating this template. The first one is this blue front. So if I click on that and go to my effects and turn them off, you can see all it is is a rectangle. It's a blue rectangle with the wave warp effect on it. And you can see it's a triangle wave. The wave height is 136. The wave width is 978. And the direction is 90 degrees. So the direction affects what direction the wave moves. So I'm going to undo that and leave it at 90. That's one thing I didn't mention in my last tutorial. The wave speed is 1, so it's moving to the right, rather than minus 1, which would move to the left. It's got no pinning. It's got no phase on it. I've set the anti-aliasing quality to high, and I've created posterized time, just like we did in the previous lesson, and set it to 8 frames a second. So that's all we've got going on here for this little loop. Okay, and then if we click on the green middle layer, let's turn off this blue one at the front, you can see again we've just got the wave warp effect, it's triangle, the wave height is 90, and the wave width is slightly less, it's 605. Direction's the same, 90 degrees, so is the wave speed. Uh, we've got the pinning on the bottom edge. That was just a personal choice I made. You can play about with that yourself. But you'll notice there's a difference in the phase. What I've done is I've set the phase to 37 degrees. It's not moving any faster or any slower than the one in front of it. It just begins 37 degrees into the animation. So if you're feeling confused about that, I'll show you why I've done it. If I set the phase to zero, and then turn this blue front on again, you can see that the green part of the wave is in a rather awkward place. I've used phase to reposition it so it always stays in the middle of the two front blue waves. So I'm going to stick that back on 37, and then when we scrub through it again, you can see that our green is in just the right place. So next up, let's click on our yellow back. We can turn these two layers off so we can see it. We've got the wave height a bit smaller at 58. The wave width, again, is much smaller at 325. This is because it's further away and you want the waves to be smaller. Direction and wave speed are the same. Got the pinning on the bottom edge. Phase is now 90, so that's even higher than the green middle one so that we're wanting it to be more displaced in time. I've put the anti-aliasing to low on that one, but you can have it on high if you want. Just depends how powerful your computer is. And again, we've got posterized time on it, bringing the frame rate down to eight frames a second. And the last thing I've done is I've found where the loop is. So I found the loops in exactly the same place as it was in the last example. It's one frame before one second. As you can see, 
the uh, waves look exactly the same at one second as they do right at the beginning. See, I'm clicking between those two. They're just the same. And I've exported this as a PNG sequence, just like we did last time. And I've imported it into Flash. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So here we go. Got this in Flash. Got my nice little color guide here so that I can color in my waves in a satisfying fashion. And we've got our keyframes here. I've made one layer for the front, one for the middle, and one for the back. That's just to separate things and make my life a bit easier. And I've made my template look a lot more interesting by drawing some nice white foam on the crest of each of these waves. And I've drawn that very much in the style of Hokusai and Japanese woodblock printers. That's where that kind of style comes from and it's progressed into uh, Japanese animation. So really, once you've got your template, which looks like that, you can just draw over it really easily in Flash. You can either trace over it on a new layer using the paintbrush, or you could trace bitmaps like I showed you in the previous lesson. It's a really good way of using After Effects to create a template and doing all the kind of hard maths of how to loop something. And then you can use Flash to kind of use your artistic flair and make something look much more interesting. And you don't need to worry about the timing being wrong or it not looping properly. Because this is all fairly complex stuff to do inside your brain to figure out the exact rate for all these waves to move. It's certainly not the kind of thing I find easy and I'm always in awe of anybody who can figure that out and just do it off the top of their head. So there you go, that's some ocean waves. Next up, we're gonna look at a more kind of Hokusai style crashing wave. So that's the end of this lesson. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Next up, why not take a look at my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find out more about my self-published books the Hexjibber Colouring and Activity Book and the Hexjibber Anti-Revision Book. They're both suitable for kids and adults alike and are well worth checking out.